Louisville. Defensive coordinator Ruffin McNeil serving as interim coach after Leach's decaying relationship with Tech officials finally led to his dismissal following reports of Leach's alleged mistreatment of receiver Adam Jones. And there was Adam Jones cheering on his Red Raider teammates. First quarter, Edwin Baker. We're going 46 yards. Look at Edwin Baker matriculate the ball down the field. Michigan State comes back to tie at 7-7. Second quarter, Taylor Potts, Baron Batch, back to Potts, the trickeration. Austin Zuzelik, 50 yards, sets up this third and goal. More Potts, Lyle Leon, Red Raiders up 17-7. One more look, you'll see. That's inside receivers coach Lincoln Riley. He's calling the plays in place of Leach. He's, he wants a timeout before the play. But luckily, Potts converted it anyway. Tech led 20 to 14 at the half. This is the opening kickoff for the second half, and Eric Stevens, oh, that's a fumble. White ball, Sparty recovers, and so in possession, look what ensues. Third and three, this is backup quarterback now, Keith Nickel. Michigan State takes the 21-20 lead on the old quarterback draw. Tech responds, back and forth we go. Potts, Jacoby Frank. Frank scores. Texas Tech regains the lead. Now it's 27-21. How about some play action? Kirk Cousins. Blair White. Oh, they forgot all about him. He got behind the entire organization. Gain of 49. Fourth down, they'll try a field goal. This from 43. Hold on. What is it about bowl games? Everybody loves to pull the old trick kick play in bowl games. Aaron Bates, Charlie Gant, first down. Later in the drive, Keyshawn Martin. Now we're going Wildcat. Martin, Blair White, touchdown. Michigan State takes the 28-27 lead. Sparty trying to break a three-game bowl losing streak. Early fourth, that's Potts going to the locker room. X-rays on his non-throwing hand. Steven Sheffield, the backup, warming up. Potts comes back. They say X-rays are fine, but Riley and McNeil get together. You know what? I got a good feeling about this Sheffield kid. Let's put him in. Potts didn't like it. Here's Sheffield on third and 12. Leong, 43. Tech quarterbacks threw for 472 yards in Alamo Bowl record. Two plays later, Sheffield, Detron Lewis. Oh, good call, leaving in the kid there. Yes, he's in. Tech takes the 34-31 lead. We go back on the ground. Now it's Batch. Batch. There he goes. 13-yard touchdown. Texas Tech, its sixth win in its last 10 bowl appearances. Their first three-game winning streak to end a season since 1995. And the Red Raiders, behind Ruff and McNeil, win the Alamo Bowl, 41-31. They put Mike Leach and all that behind them. They win the bowl game. They beat the Spartans. Bowl for the first time. But at the Palatial, Cowboys Stadium in Arlington, Oklahoma State, and Ole Miss, second quarter, Jevin Sneed is going to be intercepted by Lucien Antoine. Now, when it's an interception, it's open season on the quarterback. And oh. that hit by Markel Martin on Jevin Sneed. One of five turnovers by Ole Miss. Now, look at this collision created by Martin. Mm. My grandmama gave me that chain. The year old. Yeah, he did. Good call. Now, Sneed left the game for a bit, but he returned. So, in his place, we bring in the freshman, Nathan Stanley. First play, all you do is just hand it off to Dexter McCluster. That's the smart play. 86 yards for the touchdown. First player in SEC history with more than 1,000 yards and 500 receiving yards in the same season. That runs second longest in Cotton Bowl history. This is the longest. 1954, Rice halfback Dickie Magel on his own five appears to be on his way for a 95-yard touchdown when Alabama fullback Tommy Lewis came off the bench and tackled him. They gave him a 95-yard score. So Ole Miss up 7-0 at the half. That game didn't look like it was an HD. No, it was not. Cowboys driving, running back Keith Totts and a little jump pass to Wilson Yalman, and we're tied at 7. McCluster, he's going to line up at quarterback. Hey, what Oklahoma State can do, Ole Miss can do as well. Direct snap to him gives the Rebels a 14-7 lead. McCluster named offensive MVP for the Cotton Bowl. Next possession for the Cowboys. The receiver fumbles. Yes. Patrick Trahan recovers. Little scoop and score. Cowboys turn the ball over seven times. Six on their final possession. Ole Miss wins the Cotton Bowl 20. It's paradise. Dude.
All right, it's 10 3 in the third. East Carolina's Patrick Pickney intercepted by Tremaine Thomas, 38 yards the other way, and Arkansas ties the game at 10. They were down 10 0 at the half. And Pickney comes right back. Hooks up with Dwayne Harris, 13 yard score. Pirates up 17 10. They had 390 yards of total offense. But the Hogs answer Ryan Mallard, who struggled a little bit. Up top to Jarius Wright, 41 yard score. We're tied at 17. Mallet just 15 of 36, 206 yards. All right, 109 left in the fourth quarter. ECU kicker Ben Hartman from 39 yards away. Oh, right on the mark as he hits the left upright. So Arkansas takes over possession. Third down. Mallet nearly intercepted, but it falls incomplete. So Arkansas 0 for 13 on third down conversions, forced to punt. Three seconds left. Hartman, another try. Another 39-yarder. This time he misses wide right. So we go to overtime. All right, in the OT, another chance for Hartman. This one from 35 yards away. No. Oh, man. Wide left. Now, he actually broke the school record for career points earlier in this game, but he missed four field goals on Saturday. Arkansas kicker Alex Tejeda who missed some crucial kicks against Florida and LSU. This time, Tejada comes through. He's good here. Arkansas wins by three in Oaks.com Bowl. Zach Frazier to Kashif Moore. Another one-handed grab. So Maya Moore with one-handed catch. Kashif Moore with a one-handed catch. 37 yards. He was asked about that one-handed grab after the game. It's got to be the shoes, right? Or the gloves. One-handed catch, man? Yeah, hey, I don't know. It might be the new gloves or something. The trifecta up 13-0 on South Carolina in the third. Steven Garcia, rough afternoon for him. Looking for the first down. Let me make a cutback move here. Uh-oh, my bad. Fumbles the ball. Huskies recover. South Carolina never did. That set up this. Andre Dixon, 10-yard touchdown. Huskies win 20-7 completing the sweep for the three UConn programs on Saturday. They roll over South Carolina. Illinois, it's the International Bowl in third quarter. Let's get all international on. B.J. Daniels, A.J. Love. South Florida up 13-3. That was right out of the, the backyard with the Nerf ball. Just run down there. I'll throw it to you kind of a deal. First play, fourth quarter. Again, A.J. Love, 20-3 Bulls. Nice day for Mike Ford. He had only 18 yards rushing in the first half, but ran for a buck 89 in the second. He was your International Bowl MVP, a career high 207. Third straight year that a running back has been over 200 yards in the International Bowl. Ray Rice and Donald Brown with the previous two. That's Jason Pierre Paul. South Florida wins 27 3.